I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. <laughs> Welcome back to another. Oh my God, Jesus, that's so impressive. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus, so impressive. Welcome back to another episode of White Trash. White Trash. And in. And in trouble. EJ, what's up, man? Trouble! That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> you sound clear. I I I, le- I lend you a microphone. I don't sound queer. You sound queer. Queer than, queer than a $2 know. bill. <laughs> you sound queer than two butt fuckers in a sleeping bag at Clay Aiken's house while Diddy watches. While watching Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Why can't I quit you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, we've had a we had a pretty adventurous weekend. We had a show. We got we got we got some kind of fucking disease from that crystal lady from uh, from Tommy, Fisherman's her name Pub. Was crystal meth, bro. I know. <laughs> I, I think I call. I think I called her Martha just to like fuck with her. She's like, my name's not Martha. It's Crystal. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's worse. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'll try to help you out there. <laughs> but but no, that was a fun. That was a that fun lady, night, man. So she is like. That lady is 100% the fun comedy persona. Yeah. You know, that you want a crowd to be. Yeah. Kind of. Kind like, of. She was like, you know, she loved everybody's jokes. She was having a great time. And then, like, the more she drank, the more she was over the top. And, like, I was surprised, like, you guys let her roll as much as you did. I was like, shut up, bitch. I'm telling the jokes. You know, I, I told her to, to shut the fuck up several times, but <laughs> when you shut the fuck up, Martha. <laughs> I was like, shut the fuck up, Martha. You, you fucking you 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 seven eleven footed <laughs> kangaroo employee bitch. <laughs> I felt bad for Ants though, because by the time he got up there, she was fucking wasted. Yeah. And then like she came over and was like hugging on us and crying and everything. And I, I know. Like, oh. I'm, and I it, saw her sneeze and snot coming out of her nose like four or five times. She and then like she put fucking... money in the tip bucket and I'm like, ah, she didn't even wash her hands. Fuck. <laughs> fucking money. Yeah, <laughs> We're all getting dead. <laughs> yeah, we all got something right there. That was not it was a good night. Like we all we all did really well. Fucking! I wish Jeremy would have showed up a little earlier, so that way he could have done a little time. But you know, Jeremy running that, on CPT. Yeah, <laughs> Jer- Jeremy Black, not Jeremy White. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to you, Jeremy. We love oh. you, man. Well, cheers to him, Ants, Rue. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was, was a good was night, a man. Show, man. It was a we we fucking all assassins, man. It was it was a. Hell of a time, and we had we had fun beforehand too. We went to fucking Dave and Buster's. We didn't play any games, <laughs> but we did have a drink, and the burger was on point. And we got to fuck with James. That so, was fun, that yeah. Was fun. With with Mac with Mac Daddy James, we got to fuck with him. Show he Shout showed out us to James Esterline. Showed us his belt buckle. Shout out to him. Yeah, that no, was a. It's the first time in a long time that a grown ass man has stood in front of me. Pulled up his shirt to show a belt buckle, then it'd be a wrestling belt buckle, and then tell me to suck it. I was like, <laughs> "Well, damn, he lives the life, bro. <laughs> he does. He lives some kind of life. He he does something, man. I didn't. I, I knew he was a bartender, but I didn't realize it was at the at Dave and Buster's. But then it made sense how they do that open mic at Dave and Buster's. I was like, ah, oh, there you go. Makes makes perfect sense. James slept his way into the comedy room in the back. I like it. Yes, he did. You keep <laughs> giving that dick, James. It's not stand up for news. It's stand up for nudes. <laughs> 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 he has like naked pictures of himself with the WWE belt buckle around his nuts. <laughs> so this is the first time we've done White Trash and in Trouble without a guest because last two last two episodes we've done we had Manny and Sierra on. Is it the first time? Yeah, we haven't done one by ourselves in a while because we're because we're doing bi bi weekly with the oh, history yeah, podcast like, and stuff. Yeah, the first couple. Of times. No, it's been yeah. We had um. So it's the first one in a while. Yeah, like first yeah, first one in like um, like a month. Yeah, we've um. I mean, because yeah, we do it bi weekly now. 
I mean, I like I like having guests on. I mean, I like having guests that actually bring an article. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. Shout out to you, Sierra. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just remembering her uh, posting on her Facebook. <laughs> it's like, what do you see with the clouds? <laughs> I see something. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good sport about it. So. She was a good sport. No, she she was a good sport when when we had her on when we were when we were fucking with her. Absolutely. Anyway, so from what we can recall about our our um last articles about white people that are white trash getting in trouble, mine was the babe. Babe Ruth, he had gone arrested for, I think, like speeding. And he had he had to make it to one of his baseball games. Hello, Miranda. How are you? Uh and yours was Dude you're... went down the stairs from pussy. Yeah, but he was he didn't get in trouble though. So, so yours doesn't count. What do you mean? Yes, he did. That's totally in trouble. If you break everything, like you just got fucking in a bad car accident, that's in trouble, bro. But he, he didn't get in trouble by the law, though. <laughs> you don't have to get in trouble by the law to get in trouble. Oh. oh, dude, let's be real here. I mean, I fucking shat all over Charlie. All right, King Charlie. Oh yeah, you did shit over Charlie. And King he Charles. didn't get in trouble with the law. He got cancer. That's trouble, bro. <laughs> I take trouble in all forms. I am uh, trouble. Yeah, I am trouble. <laughs> well, well goddamn, like every. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, you know, anybody can be in trouble by something, you know. It's like, oh, you you got you got There's caught always something fun. That's what's great about the you, you got you got caught jerking off by your mom. You're in trouble. And technically, yeah. I mean, both be getting grounded and it's also like, oh fuck, I'm in I'm in trouble. Mom, my mom just saw me come. Oh god, that's weird. <laughs> my mom walked in and saw me full staff fucking stroking <laughs> down and even heard the porn. This is trouble. <laughs> my mom saw me fucking stack up the totem pole <laughs> i think the worst my mom ever saw was like walking in on me fucking somebody so really your mom walked in on you fucking yeah my dad did a couple of times my stepdad oh man he I was know. like we gotta make an agreement you gotta like hang a sock on the door or something bro a sock on the door <laughs> do you need something honey i was just saying raw doggy <laughs> marina said raw doggy <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Go dogs. <laughs> you are a Bulldogs fan, that's right. Right? If it ain't raw dog and we ain't dogging it all, all right. <laughs> Was that hey. too white trash? <laughs> um I never got I never got walked in on like be getting like like masturbating or like some I mean I've had like people bang on my door when like I would be fucking and stuff, but I like obviously they knew not to come in because I would say, Hold on! And they're like, Oh, we we get it, <laughs> but like jerking off, no. But I, I'll tell you, one of the weirdest ones I think I've ever heard was when, uh, yeah, I guess like my sister and her like one of her weird friends were trying to like get something from my room, and I was taking a nap, and I, um, you know, obviously when you're taking a nap, you get a morning wood while while you're sleeping, and she told me that her friends were like staring at it for like three minutes while she was away and i'm like Ugh, your friends are like 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 13 like don't ever do that again please <laughs> wait how old were you not 18 19 probably uh, yeah, it was a little creepy. Yeah, it was creepy. Well, I that mean, ruins my line. Yeah, I mean, what, why what? didn't they suck it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not good friends. <laughs> it ain't gonna suck itself. <laughs> Dude, I think one of my like funnier, um, uh, like penis stories, yeah, um, like you know how you. you your best friend is like, you guys go links. It's like almost fucking gay, right? Yeah. Uh, so you know my best friend. You met him. Yeah, yeah, uh, good Dane. guy, really good guy. You, you need. Oh, you you have met my best friend. You just haven't like gone. You haven't gotten to talk with him yet. So I we lived together, and I was asleep on the couch in my boxers. And as you said, when you're sleeping, stuff happens. Well, his mom and grandma were we on get their jerked way off. over. We get jerked off by ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wow. 
Boo. <laughs> if, I was, if I was black, he'd go boo. <laughs> nah, for real. If, you know, if you're for, for real, if you're a black, it would go ah, Klansman. <laughs> so, uh, holy crap! His mom and grandma wow. were coming over, and I was asleep, and it you know slipped out of the slit in the boxers. And he was like, bro, wake up. I, and I was like dead asleep. I just got back from work in Orlando, you know, in like fucking 16 hour day mm -hmm. that day. And uh, he was like, fucker, tucked it in for me. Like, like, Dude, what a bro. That, yeah, that's my homeboy right there. Dude, so if your what? friend don't tuck your dick away to keep his mom and grandma from seeing it. You don't that, have a real friend. <laughs> that's a true friend right there. I know for a fact my friends would never do that for me, but the fact that your friend fucking grabbed your wiener, tucked it underneath your boxers. Whoa, whoa. I said he tucked it away. I didn't say he fucking oh. grabbed it and tucked it away. <laughs> I thought I thought he tucked it You're back. Like, your into friend the... jerked you off. <laughs> No, I thought you said he fucking. Up. I thought he said. I thought you said he put it back in the hole, like where your boxer hole was. Like, say, like this yeah, is your. Listen, so I say, don't say this know is your the penis. Whole details. Say this I is just... your penis. This is the boxer hole. I thought he literally just grabbed it and went like, whoop, just back. <laughs> listen, I never asked for details. All I know is I woke up with a fucking blanket on me and everything, on the couch, and his mom and grandma there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And he was like. Bro, we gotta talk. <laughs> you know, like what? <laughs> and then he told me, he goes, I had to put the thing away because my fucking mom and grandma were at the door. And I was like, What do you mean? And he goes, Your dick. And I was like, I don't want to know anything else. <laughs> mom, grandma, and penis. Um, you can, fi you can finish it right there. Yeah. Good for you, hey. bro. I appreciate the responsible thing that you did. I don't want to know how you did it. I don't want these. I was about to say, I thought, I thought he literally grabbed it. His mom's it seen it my back. dick before. I was about to say, I thought he literally grabbed it and put it back. I don't know. Here. I was asleep. He, he might have. I mean, you, you never fucking did. You smell his fingers afterwards? No. I mean, like I said, I didn't want to know any details. <laughs> If I see him, I, I'm I'm in a Douglas and in a good bit because it's not my account anymore. But if I do go back, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, are you even grabbing EJ's penis and stuff?" He'd be like, what the "Fuck no." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just talked to him earlier today, and he wants to meet up Friday and uh, re-record one of the songs we did. So he wants to meet up with you to re-record a song. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! I what, told you he and I used to like write music together. Right? Yeah, we which guitar since he was seven. That's sick. What's oh my god? We should have him because he. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I could play guitar. I could sing decent, but I can't do it at the same time. I, like literally, I am like so yeah. retarded. Like yeah. I, I, I can't do it. Like you know, so because when he said like, oh yeah, we should do like you know parody songs. I'm like, well, you're gonna have to be the singer, man. Because like I'll play the guitar. I just cannot sing and play at the same time. I get like so stupid. I'm like, I'll be like, yeah, yeah I, I, my face and hey, I, I don't fucking know. But but we should. <laughs> it's have the it. same way though. We should he have can him like a motherfucker, Fuck but he yeah, cannot yeah. sing at the same time. Dude, yeah, we should have him be our guitar player while we fucking dance and sing around like a bunch of morons. <laughs> I would love that. It basically, just described his and my friendship for like twenty some years. There we go. How, how about this? How about him and Miranda play? Because Miranda can play guitar really good, and you and I sing like retards. There we go. Country world. We should do. All right, I got another one. We should do Brown Eye of the Tiger. Oh. Oh. Brown Eye of the Tiger. Tighten up and drop a payload. <laughs> I did, did, did my time behind bars. I got raped in it. It felt so good because I robbed the convenience store. <laughs> I don't fucking know. All right, we're getting way off topic here. I've had too much fiber and my guts on the go. And it's time to drop a payload out my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna be one of those turds that i don't really have to wipe is it gonna be solid or liquid or chunky brown eye of the tiger all right <laughs> we're getting way off topic here way off topic here this always fucking happens but you know what it, it, go. <laughs> it makes the show wonderful so yeah like uh 
you know, for the ones who enjoy watching this, which is like, you know, good few of you. White trash and in trouble. We don't have to, we don't have to explain ourselves. We don't explain myself. Um, you know, I mean, according to EJ, we don't have to get anybody that's getting in trouble per se. It could be someone that's in danger. How about in danger instead of in trouble, EJ? Because no, just keep it white trash and in trouble. White trouble trash and in danger. Anyway, it could be anybody getting in trouble. You know, it could be with the law or you know, an accident, health wise or whatever. Uh, you know what, EJ? Why don't you go first? All right. Go first. If it's white trash and in danger, the first thing I'm doing is that idiot from 127 hours that had to cut his own fucking arm off. Oh, James Franco. Yeah. <laughs> no, the real guy. <laughs> dude, dude, did you ever watch the roast of James Franco? Watch all the roasts. Dude, you see who's getting roasted? Tom Brady. That's see. gonna be something. Uh, but the roast of uh yeah I I think you remember this one when Jeff Ross gets gets on stage and he said it's like there's James Franco's grandma 127 hours is all she has left <laughs> <laughs> she flicked them up though all right go ahead tell us right. what is your thing on this week's episode of White Trash and in Trouble we have a substitute teacher that got caught oh now. Nah. What's the first thing you think of that a substitute teacher would get caught for doing? Well, okay. I, I wanna I wanna answer this. Okay, so obviously the obvious, you know, answer would probably more likely be, you know, child porn or pedophilia or just something to the student. But 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 I'm going to make another guess really quick. He showed up to work drunk. I like both of your guesses. And okay. those, the first one is 100% something that would most likely come up for Abs most people. Absolutely. However, this is white trash and in trouble. We've had a dog fucker on. We leave the pedophiles alone because they all deserve to die. Of course. And let me just give you one more hint. The okay. substitute teacher was in Texas. Now, does that oh, change the game? Oh, he, he fucking like went to, he went to the school and he showed the kids his fucking revolver. Not love gun, but like his gun, real gun. Like your seventy <laughs> Sam, was he like, oh here kids, won't you look at that battle here? <laughs> so <laughs> you're wrong on both accounts. I, One, I know, I know. It's not a he. It's a she. Natalie Esperanza Garcia, oh. twenty-four year old substitute teacher for the Mesquite Independent School District in texas everything's bigger in texas and she looked like she's kind of a bigger girl however she is under arrest currently because she decided to hold fight club in class whoa yes Damn. i think i want to go out on a limb here and i want to stand up for Natalie Esperanza Garcia. Of course she okay? fucking do. <laughs> because there was some bullshit going on in the class, and she said, fuck that shit. Y'all gonna fight it out. All right? Now, you know, kids these days, they all have phones. Everybody's recording shit. Yeah. Homegirl got busted. Now, she said, I'm gonna pull up this article and She said, well, a 13 year old girl's camera was one of the pieces of evidence used against her. Hey, can you hold really quick? I have to shit. Hold on one second, brother. <laughs> Just hold. You can jerk off to the to the camera if you want. Just one second, bro. <laughs> well, this is going to be a great edit. <laughs> Miranda! Yeah! Come talk to me. Scotty's got a shit. Come talk to me. Scotty's got a shit. <laughs> this is the first time on White Trash and in Trouble. Now this is something wrong. We in trouble. <laughs> something very wrong. We in big trouble in Little China. <laughs> I love it. One more time. <laughs> something big wrong. <laughs> something wrong in big China. <laughs> 
Oh, did you get your car fixed? Oh, yeah. So what did they say was wrong with it? Uh, they just tested everything and everything's fine and to par. And I guess it shut down based on protecting the engine. Mm, that's weird. It's like a mechanism within. I wonder what would make it, though. Like Something's got to be wrong with it to in order to shut it down to protect the engine. Like Something happened for it to go, wait, stop. Even Adam said there's some kind of mechanism within that will do that with the smart cars, the ones that are newer like that. Mm. Wait, I thought you, wasn't yours a 13? Uh, no, 2008. 2008? Yeah. They have? Uh, I'd still ask Johnny. Okay. Either way, aside from that, how did your Saturday gig go? Good. It was smooth. Easy. Yeah. You didn't have to knock any fucking. I didn't have out. to knock any little shits out. <laughs> Don't have to be on an episode of White Trash and in trouble. <laughs> I actually had an hour and a half to myself. The kid was napping. Uh, he was out. Yeah, that's the best time with kid. What are you doing? Scotty's gonna have to cut like all of this for the show. Pretty However, much. Look, look at Valor. I gotta see Valor. Oh my god. What's he doing? What are you doing? Hi. You just look like a big baby. He's chilling. What are you just doing? Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then Gypsy's right there. And Bear's right next to me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're all tired. What a rough life. Oh, yeah. They've had so it hard. so So hard. fucking hard. They just ate freaking a whole bunch of food. And now they're pigged out fatties. <laughs> He's back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> yeah, he had to do his brown eye of the tiger. <laughs> Did you leave another shit stain on the toilet? Probably. Go look. You better clean that shit up. <laughs> nah, I didn't leave. It I ain't doing it. I, I didn't I'm done. <laughs> EJ left one. Too much spicy food. No, I did not. Taco Bell. You're a goddamn lie. I didn't leave a shit burn. I walked into a shit burn. You fucker. <laughs> you even preempted him. Yeah, I said, yeah. hey, don't mind the shit burn. <laughs> that's it. Again, that's what you said last time. <laughs> so don't mind the shit burn again. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, I always make sure, I'm, like, you know, after we clean the toilet, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to look good for a while. No shit burns. And literally, diarrhea. Oh, fuck, I have a shit burn. <laughs> How's that one song go? Diarrhea. 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 <laughs> All right, get up. I got some fucking podcasting to do. Oh, yeah. When you're riding down the road and it feel like you're gonna explode, diarrhea. That's it. <laughs> that one? Yes. Like it's when an old one. To, when the pedals to the floor and you're feeling kind of sore, diarrhea, diarrhea. <laughs> A lot of the kids know that song. They taught me. It's an old one. <laughs> yeah. As Scotty plays with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing with my with my bush, actually. What? The whole episode <laughs> has turned into a shit show. <laughs> Oh shit! I gotta edit out my bush. You got, <laughs> you I think gotta, you have to edit this whole portion now. The moment when you said I got a shit, you cut to waste for Zoom. <laughs> it'll be Patreon. Oh, it'll be a Patreon exclusive for. Oh god, <laughs> pay for it. Yeah. Just like an no. OnlyFans. I'm like, we talked about stuff that had nothing to do with the podcast. <laughs> We're gonna cut all that. We can rehash what happened without showing it. What are you drinking tonight? Uh, this is Pepsi and Crown. Oh, snap. Like We're partying. Uh, Pepsi and Crown sound really good. It's a real deal. It's not just rum. It's Shannon's good rum. Shannon's at city council meeting for... Uh, rickshaw. Uh, Time for you to move. Yeah. I got to get to my seat. I'm a rickshaw is... now? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> wow. Damn. She got downgraded before she was the person driving the rickshaw. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. She can't. Support. I am the rickshaw. She can't support me while she drive, while she rides a rickshaw while she operates a rickshaw with me in it. Are you kidding me? Do not underestimate the power of thick thighs. Can I get on my seat now, please? Thunder thighs. Dude, that's like Scotty's nice. It's like, please get the fuck up. <laughs> hey, at least you said please. Okay, yeah, please. I got the podcasting I need to do. Get your ass on that seat. I love that she has her Komoda on. <laughs> In the hot seat. In the hot seat. Have fun. It's so crazy. <laughs> Scotty's little geisha in her kimono. <laughs> uh, I need a fucking kimono and a 
I need to dress under the geisha. Oh, wait, wait, wait you're, you, she, she wears a Shannon kimono. Has a, wait, I... <laughs> what? Oh, I so said she has a kimono, but she's Chinese. <laughs> so uh, Shannon has a, a robe out in the, the garage that's like one of those satin robes. I swear to God, I'm gonna wear it to a show one time. Shit. It's like white and pink, and uh, as she was trying to sell it for the garage sale, mm. the guy walked up. He looked at it because I was standing out there for her while she was uh, doing something in the house, and he goes, "This." I was like, uh, "Wife doesn't want me wearing it anymore. My dick hangs out the bottom." <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can have Thane put it back in for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So intermission, I had a, a shit really bad. So, fight club, fight club. This woman, you know, she did a fight club in her school. A couple thirteen year old girls. Continue. So it wasn't just thirteen year old girls. It was a thirteen year old girl. Hey, bud, a thirteen year old girl recorded, and what was caught on uh, the t- the substitute teacher saying, "I don't want none of this on record." <laughs> She outlined the rules for the students and even instructed a student to monitor the classroom door while the fights took place. Yeah, you're right. She literally, number one rule of Fight Club, don't tell anyone about Fight Club. (laughs) She said on the thing, uh, the video said, what I need you to do is stand by that door and hold it in case someone comes in. So two boys fought and two girls fought separately, throwing punches at each other as a substitute teacher. Miss Garcia looked on. So she's been arrested. Um, this happened April 17th, okay, of 2023. Oh, just a year uh, ago. Yeah. Um, so she was arrested for uh, four counts of endangering a child. And they said that there's more to go. Um, it's a state felony. When a person person commits an offense intentionally, knowing, or recklessly, or with criminal negligence uh, on a child that is younger than 15 years old. That Damn. involves bodily damage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not reading their whole fucking law. However, even though the students that were fighting were uh, 12 and 13 years old, right? Uh, she was arrested at 3.32 p.m. on a Monday. Now, even though... The moral obligation to this is to say this teacher should not have had students fighting in the classroom. Fuck you. I'm playing devil's advocate. We need more teachers to let these kids fucking fight. This, if she got away with this, this might have been the best class of non woke little cuck fucking kids in the future. Okay. <laughs> you getting in a fight and settling your differences makes a big difference in life if you've never been in a fight you get to sit back and go oh my god where it's hurt oh, all god. right i agree with you i think i think this new generation of children you know they're soft as shit you know basically you know we kind of need bullying to come back because there's like kids that are what i'm seeing on twitter what i'm seeing on twitter you know, kids dressing up as like, you know, furry animals and stuff. And they're like, you know, going around wearing leashes, barking at people. And they're like, you better not make fun of them or you're going to get expelled. Okay. From someone who was bullied before, you know, let me tell you, it, it sucks. But bullying made me tougher. Bullying basically kind of taught me how to be a comedian. Bullying basically also taught me how to use my words to go, hey, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you know. I think bullying has has its perks, but but back to the fighting. No, we're gonna no. circle back to what you said. Listen, 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 exactly. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I think fights do. I mean, obviously, we don't want kids getting hurt, of course. But if you want to fight and have a little fight club, do it outside of school. Plain and simple. Because when I was a kid, when I when we would fight, you know, kids wanted to fight in the school. But I would say, no, how about we settle it at the park? And they're like, why not hear you, pussy? I'm like, do you want to get suspended for 10 days? They're like, well, you know, not really. I'm like, so let's go settle it somewhere else so no, so no one knows. 
you know, like we, we could bring a couple of people, but if I'm, I'm just saying, if your people try to jump in and hurt me, or if my people try to jump in and hurt you, then the fight's over. You know, I don't, I, I believe one V one, if we want to settle a problem. So to that, uh, the first part that you said, um, I am pro bully. <laughs> I was bullied as a kid. Yes. You know, uh, we've talked about this before. Absolutely. I think everybody gets a little bit of bullying. I mean, there's drastic extremes, obviously. A- absolutely. I don't want some kid beaten to a bloody pulp and no. stuffed in a locker, you know, where you no, end up wanting to shoot at school. Yeah. But picking on each other builds character. I'm fucking funny. Not because my life was easy. And I'm ugly. I can't get laid with this face. I'm going to use the mouth. In a different way, but they don't just see the chip. You know, I got that from being picked on. I developed verbal cues and shit. Okay, <laughs> made you tougher. You don't get butt hurt over a word if somebody calls you a fag. Mm-hmm. You know, you've been oh. in fights. That word doesn't hurt you. Okay, cool. Talk all you want. Yeah, let's go. Now, yeah. for example, story. Like, yeah, like for example, I'll I'll go back to like what you're just saying. You know. Obviously, I've always been a bigger kid. You know, I would get picked on for my weight as well. I would take it a little to heart. But then whenever people then finally, when I was, you know, building more character and learning how to use my words, people would say, oh, you're fat. And I would say, because I eat a lot of pussy. And they're like, OK, that's funny. We we like you. We accept you. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. See, as, a, as the guy that was little and tiny, I didn't get shit like that. I got like, I'm going to fuck you up. Bring it up. <laughs> well i was i was the kind of guy that i was like when i was like five i was the size of a fucking 13 year old so like i'd be in kindergarten like at my school and like these fucking sixth graders would, would be like hey let's start a fight and i'm just like i'm still shitting in diapers man like what the fuck <laughs> nah and it's not that drastic it was, it was more like maybe second or third grade and like fifth graders were like yeah yeah, starting shit with me as well because I was so big, and they just were. They assumed I was in their grade, but and they didn't realize I was like three, four years younger than they were and stuff. So yeah, I was like, uh. <laughs> "You said let's start a fight." It reminded me of fucking Ryan Styles. <laughs> Whose line is it anyway? <laughs> you guys want to start a fight? Hey, you want to fight? <laughs> it's like name something that start that that says you want to start a fight. <laughs> you guys want to start a fight? <laughs> But continue, brother. The other thing I want to bring about this article is we got the end result of a teacher having fights in the classroom, Mm -hmm. having kids just duke it out. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody can take a moment and reflect when you were a kid and a substitute teacher came in. You gave that person hell. You were a shitbag of epic proportions. Before this happened, I guarantee you they fucking tried her so much and tested her patience where she was like, fuck y'all. And the two kids, I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm just giving a scenario. I'm trying to give my girl Natalie Esperanza Garcia an out here. Maybe these two little fuck boys were like, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm gonna beat-. And she said, stop talking in my class, puta. And they just kept going. And she was like, if you really mad, you really mad? You fight now. Okay. That, I don't know why that accent was that dog shit. Okay. But still. Yeah. Like, all right, come on. Stop disrupting the class. Yeah, truly, really bad. Oh. You fight You fight that way. That was even worse. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight each other? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Want to fight each other, Holmes? My Spanish. <laughs> no. Stop disrupting class. If you keep disrupting class, I'm going to make you fight each other in class. Then we know who got their ass for. <laughs> And then voila, it became a thing. I think this teacher has a right idea. And somewhere down the line, we should have public classes where kids can settle their bullshit. Fucking right there in the class. Get the wrestling mats out. That way they don't hit their head right on the concrete. Beat the shit out of each other. Shake hands. Have a juice box. Fucking open the book back up and let's study. See, I know I agree with you, man, but it's just it's never gonna happen because a kids love to talk the shit online. That's how that's how they settle settle the differences. They settle it through Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever the fuck. B, you know, it's just I just don't see it ever happening because of just the, the society we're living in now with this whole like very PC woke, uh, safe space kind of place as well. I mean, 
like then kids like you know who are the ones that like one that need safe spaces when they when they go to college or in the or in the real world when they say something you know really shitty to another person that grew up not like them you know they say something smart they're gonna get fucking dropped and they've never been dropped before they're gonna be like oh, and they never had a big brother <laughs> or an older cousin that bullied them like that. And so they never knew what it was like to get their asses kicked. And when they finally get their asses kicked, you know, or even having someone who like with a like gentle parenting that, you know, they like the, the parent, parent, parent basically doesn't, you know, uh, punish or anything like that. So little fucking little fucking Aiden John Roy fucking little little bitch boy, you know, graduated, barely graduated. But, you know. But they, they, he's like, I'm sorry, I got dyslexia. I'm so offended. I, I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. But I, I can't say that word because, because you know, I know it's very insensitive to retarded people. But I am kind of retarded though. Uh, my pussy hurts. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't know where I'm going with this bit. But anyway, regardless, I do think there. Sh- I, th- I do think you know, kids need. I think I, I. I think kids need to have consequences for their actions, especially when when they think, "Hey, I'm gonna go dress up as a fucking cat and r- walk around all fours." They need consequences for those, man. I'm telling you. And we need more teachers like Natalie Esperanza Garcia <laughs> to let those kids fight. I'm gonna start my own school. It's gonna be over the edge, freaking school of learn your shit and back up your shit. Okay, and we're gonna have MMA fighters as teachers, just like smart ones. That well, there's no all right. Fuck that. Something's gonna give. All right, we're gonna have refs that are fucking MMA fighters in the class to break up the fights when they get too far. Joe Joe Rogan's there. Yeah, Rogan's gonna get his fucking interview in. So, Nathan, you were talking a lot of shit to Carlisle (laughs) beforehand. Why do you think that you beat Carlisle the way you did? Carlisle's a bitch. He ain't shit. I told him he ain't shit. Okay. Uh, Carlisle. Now, you told Nathan you didn't want to fight, but then you talked shit back to him. What do you think was going through your mind when that happened? I'm sorry, Joe. I just really wanted to get ice cream after lunch. I I I told him uh, I am I, I told him I, I told him I want to fuck his mom on, on Fortnite. <laughs> I like how you named a kid Carlisle. I, it's so, it popped up as soft as fuck in my head. <laughs> I, I the, the softest boy names are like Aiden, Hayden. Uh, fucking hang on, I gave a look up. Well, so, so, I knew a kid named Aiden that was a fucking savage. So oh, yeah? I didn't get with that name. Yeah, soft boy names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scotty and EJ. Yeah, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Number one at the top of the list, Emery. <laughs> That's a fag that, name. That, 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 that. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> All right, soft boy. Well, we're gonna have Miss Esperanza Garcia. If I can have us with a fight. all. All these are pretty good, but you might get offended by one of these. Aiden, of course, is on there. Benjamin, Daniel. Daniel's not that bad soft of a boy name. I don't know. I don't da- get offended about somebody saying a name is soft. Just hold on. Ethan, Henry, Jack, Jacob, Liam, Logan, Lucas, Mason, Noah. <laughs> oh, Noah's soft as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, Owen, Samuel, Sebastian, Theodore, and Wyatt. Now it's like uh it's like the George Carlin bit where he's like, I hate guys named Todd. Where are these goofy named Todd? Goofy <laughs> fucking boy names. He's like, I bet you anything that Nikki, Vinny, and Tony will beat the shit out of Todd, Taylor, and Jordan and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, Tommy, Finney. <laughs> I fucking love that bit. Cool. So what's oh. so what is the um what's the update on this lady? Where she what's she doing? Uh so I don't have an update to it. I just saw it and I was like, yes, <laughs> I love her. <laughs> All right. Um let's well see. Mrs. Yeah. Garcia, you are not white, but 
You are in you trouble. Just, You're not you white Texas trash. Texas Spanish so. trash and in trouble. But I support what you did, girl. You you do you, boo boo. Mm, you do you, boo boo. All right. Well, My she turn. looks like she had older brothers that beat the shit out of her before. Oh, I'm sure she did. You have a picture of her? Yes. I would love to see what she looked like. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you guys sat there. Stand over here. Wait, why do I sound like that? Why do I sound Asian when sale. I say that? Sale. Sale. It's the fucking Rio Grande. They just crossed. <laughs> My God. All uh, right. Uh, All right. You want to know mine? You, yes. you want to know what my, you my... For white trash and in trouble? This so week? for this week on White Trash and in Trouble, mine was from back in October of 2017. Uh, so pre-COVID. this this was, yes, pre-COVID. This was uh, in Wyoming. Drunk man claims he traveled from 2048 to warn of alien invasion. Now I need details. What did he say the invasion was? (laughs) A Wyoming man arrested on Monday for public intoxication allegedly told police he traveled back in time to warn of an alien invasion, according to KTWO. Bryant Johnson was arrested around 10.30 p.m. after he told officers he was from the year 2048 and came to warn the people of Casper of an alien invasion. The only people of fucking Casper in Wyoming I have to worry about is falling ash from Yellowstone exploding. (laughs) And in, in the in the next fucking few hundred years or something like that, I don't fucking know. Leave it um, to a white guy in Wyoming to have the last name Johnson. I mean, what last name are supposed to have in Wyoming? It'd be Johnson. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say. I mean, like, you I mean, Wyoming. <laughs> well, what's what? <laughs> I mean, what's what's Wyoming's population? I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna look it up like, right now. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say like three million. I'm going to say 3 million. What are, what are you going to say? I said under a million like a retard. Uh, I'm say like 2, two to, to 3, three million. million. 2 to 3 million, yeah. No. Probably less than that. It's less than that, isn't it? No. 8? Dude, we were it's so under a million? way under a million. Holy crap. 493,782 people. I mean, that's like Tampa and Jacksonville and Miami. It, it really fucking is, man. Holy shit. I mean, Wyoming's big. But it's but yeah, it's also but sparse. It's all Lots sparse. It's all sparse and full of mountain ranges and stuff, so that makes sense. But and there's nothing to fucking do up there except for just look at geysers and go to park and go to parks and shit. So I mean, I had a buddy of mine that like, kind of. I think he, I think he moved up there. I don't know, but I, I fuck him all the time because he's like very, he's like, he's like extremely conservative, like way, like way more than like, than like you and I are. I mean, like I don't even consider, I don't even consider us conservative to be honest with you. I mean, like, I mean, I, I I'm right oh, in the, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm not over there. I'm not over there. I'm right in the middle. That's retarded. That's retarded. This is special. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I fuck with him all the time because I, I, um, you know, he's anti-gay too, and I'm like, oh, you just no. want to move there because you fucking saw Brokeback Mountain for the first time. You want the full Wyoming experience, you <laughs> fucking faggot. <laughs> That's yeah. the gayest shit in the world. If being anti-gay is the gayest shit in the world. It really fucking is. Just have to introduce him to Jeremy, one of my wife's bridesmaids. I call him Jer Bear. Oh, you then he'll change he was, his mind about. Oh, gay he was people. a bridesmaid of your of Shannon's. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love Jeremy. Shout out to Jeremy, you savage motherfucker. We love you. Mwah. Shout out to Jeremy. Don't know who he is, but I love you there, pal. You met Jeremy, you'd be like, this guy's cool as shit. <laughs> he probably think I'm cute. <laughs> it's like, no, he likes the. He's like he likes otters, not bears. You would be Jeremy's pipe. Nah. <laughs> Anyway, Johnson claimed that aliens will arrive in the, in the city next year and that residents should leave as soon as possible. He also told police that he was able to travel back in time because aliens filled his body with alcohol. 
<laughs> Good try, dipshit. Good try. <laughs> I, I, do you think aliens are really like, eh, we must fill your money with Crown Royal? No, 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 no. That's way, that's way too expensive. Well, what, what do we give this guy then? Oh, we must give this guy old granddad. That's the worst kind of whiskey. Okay, we're going to give him whiskey now. Now go back in time and warn everybody of Jasper, Wyoming, that we are coming. This is how we pee. Why'd you make the aliens sound like Jews? <laughs> Why did you think that? I did not make them sound like Jews. I made them sound like aliens. That's how aliens talk. Trust me. I I, I know I know my source is fuckwad. I know my source. Is, I don't know. I mean, to think about it, the first religion, one of the first religions other than Hinduism was Judaism. I mean, religion comes from where? It comes from the fucking sky people. They're aliens. So what if fucking aliens are Jewish and they're just like sure paganism was around before Jews. Fuck off! No, I'm just saying. What I'm saying is, <laughs> what if, what, what if the earliest ancient astronaut theory, ancient astronauts that came down to Earth to give people fucking the the history, the rich lore and history of, of Judaism and and Zionism? What do you, do you think? Maybe they're all wear, like balding and wearing glasses and stuff, and they're like, "Here's our secrets." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> I'm just shutting up. I don't fucking know. I Sometimes mean, you gotta let them cook. I'm just Ooh. saying. I can't say let them cook when we're talking about Jews. Oh come on! You know. <laughs> I was talking about Scotty, but he's Ashkenazi. <laughs> uh, I don't. Do you think? Okay. What do you think, like, the uh, the Hindu gods that, like, brought down Hinduism? Do you think, like, they all came and smelled like shit? And they're, <laughs> and they're like, here's the secret to our, to, our, uh, to our religion. You must pass it through. Uh, Make sure this river over here, the river Ganga, we call it the Ganga because we like saying Ganga. Make sure it does not get any dirty, okay? Do not burn anybody's over there. Make sure it is washed. Make sure you uh, use it very well. Do not put contaminate it, I'm telling you. And all of a sudden, fucking thousands of years later, boom, the river Ganga is worse than fucking drinking Flint, Michigan water. <laughs> the locals, when the gods came down, what is wrong with you? You smell like cow manure. What the hell? And then the god was like, no, this is a good thing. Cows are sacred. You should cover yourself in cow manure if you're lucky. <laughs> I will admit, cows are cute. I think, uh, have you ever like fucking cuddled with a little calf before? Did, did, listen. They're adorable. They're not. They're it's tasty. They're t they're very tasty. So I love tasty. I love steak. I love burgers. So I like, yeah, dude, I'm a fucking, I'm a meataholic. I love, I love cows. But you guys heard it here. Scotty fucking loves the meat. <laughs> but I do think cows are very cute. I think they're very, very, very adorable. I, I like watching videos of like little little calves getting adopted by vegans and they like and they act like little dogs and stuff. They're they're kind of they're pretty cute, not gonna lie. Look, dogs are cute. Shannon when she gets mad is cute. Uh... <laughs> Shannon when she gets mad is cute. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> what? No, not cows. <laughs> I love the. You've seen my my kitchen. I have the the cow, the horse, and the pig, mm -hmm. and then the two smaller uh, pictures on the side is freaking the two the the cow. <laughs> so, like. They're not bad. I'm, I just love how they taste. So I, I want oh, they're great. that I'm eating a steak. I want to be like, thanks to you guys. <laughs> like, no, I will never, I'll never stop eating steak or, or cows or anything like that. I'm just saying they are very cute. If a doctor told me I had to eliminate alcohol and red meat in order to live. Oh yeah. They're eliminating alcohol. You, dying happy. <laughs> um actually i did have a theory i've i've heard that dog meat is like one of the best meats you'll ever eat 
And so I'm like, what am I like, why I'm like why I'm like, do you think that's like the reason why like you know dogs are like so amazing? They taste so good. Uh I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think why about dogs it. are so amazing because they're loyal, they're loving, they want nothing from you except you to pet them and feed them. That do you have it. do you have one right below you right now? Yeah. Who is it? Of course. I've got Gypsy. Saki was laying next Gypsy. to me and was sitting there. But yeah, gypsy girl, little fat, 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 so good. Um, oh yeah, with a pit bull sprawl, you know, back <laughs> legs out like this. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so to finish it, Johnson had a blood alcohol content of 0.136. Um, and I have a picture. Hold on. Um, it's not popping up on my on my other computer, so I'm just gonna pull up this, and he definitely fits the description of. A guy from Wyoming getting in trouble for saying aliens are coming. Oh, oh come on. One point. What was his blood alcohol? Point one. I mean, come on. He was born with that. Look how far apart his eyes are. <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's nothing. There's nothing uh, new. Hang on, I could probably even look up Bryant Johnson. Like if he's still hanging out, you know, hanging with the aliens and stuff. Fuck him. He was wrong. It's over a year later and they haven't invaded. Cocksucker. I hope they invade very soon. That'd be cool. Jasper, Wyoming. <clears throat> uh Oh, it's Casper, Wyoming. I thought, I thought I said Jasper, Wyoming. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about these. Roadhouse. Other. Everybody wanted to go to Jasper. Oh, here we go. So... Uh, <clears throat> I found more. Officers noted that Johnson had watery, bloodshot eyes. No shit. Sl slightly slurred speech and the smell of alcohol coming from him. It was determined that Johnson could not take care of himself and was causing a disturbance in the emergency room. That's basically it. So he was arrested for public intoxication. There's nothing new about this moron. You know, he's probably still, he's probably, you know, doing something, hanging in there. You know, he got arrested. So no aliens. But Bryant Johnson of Casper, Wyoming, you are white trash and in trouble. Yeah. And the aliens yeah. didn't invade, you fucking liar. Fuck <laughs> you. Hope your DUI cost you a lot more than that. <laughs> well, this has been a great episode. <laughs> All the episodes are wonderful. Just make sure any anybody who's a guest, you know, anyone for listening, you know, just make sure you have a story <laughs> everyone everyone who we, every guest we've had on our podcast has had stories not just posts <laughs> it's easy all it's so fucking easy all i gotta do is just type in white trash person getting arrested and boom there's like billions of articles on the internet i just sent you what gypsy's doing right now <laughs> oh, gypsy where's my baby there she is oh Oh my god. <laughs> so good. So chunky boo boo goo. Oh my god, she's so good. She's over here just trying to get some attention. She's like, Daddy, Daddy, will you please love me? <laughs> oh, what the fuck am I doing? I should I should show the audience what she is doing. This is what this is what little gypsy's doing. She's like, Daddy, that's not the sea guy old. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we can end this fucking podcast. EJ, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, always wonderful time doing this podcast with you. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Well. Yeah, man. We're, we we will we will keep on doing this as much as we can. Hopefully, we can continue doing it. Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, as always, I'm Scotty Chi. I'm Manny Gassett. <laughs> <laughs> I'm EJ Salter. <laughs> and we're white trash. And in trouble. Have a good one, everybody.